I previously built a ski jump ramp to test the capabilities of the lift. It worked great and I made some improvements. This marble lift is versatile, so now I'm building another marble machine to test different sized marbles. I put out a poll on Patreon with a few options, and the winner was a big loop. There will be lots more patron input on the marble machines I build in the future, so if you want to be involved, you can join there. Alright, let's go for it. While the lift is pretty tall, I only have about three and a half feet of vertical distance to work with. I'd like to make this loop as big as possible. So let's do a little math. The formula for the size of a loop so an object makes it through without slipping is h, the height of the drop, equals two and a half times the radius of the loop. That's in a perfect world without friction or other factors interfering. We know the height equals 3.5 feet, so that means r equals 1.4. If I left it at that radius, it's almost guaranteed to fail because of friction. In order to have more confidence about the marbles making it through the loop, I shorten the radius a bit to one foot. The main framework of the loop will be quarter inch Luan. I cut out two equal circles with an inner radius of 12 inches, so this will be about a two foot tall loop. The jigsaw does a number on the Luan. So I sanded away all the frays and splinters left behind. Since I'm trying to use as much scrap wood for this as possible, I had to work within my limits. The leftover hardwood from the ski jump is 4 and 3 quarter inches wide, so that's how wide this loop is going to be. I cut blocks from 1 inch square dowels and spaced them out around the circle. At first I just used finished nails, but that wasn't holding, so I added box nails with a hammer. The hardwood attaches with short screws directly into the dowels. I used a countersink bit so the screws lay flat with the surface. Otherwise, there would be a bump that could interfere with the marbles. Because of the materials used and method of attachment, it's flexible enough to split the ends to make an easy entrance and exit of the loop. Next, I use leftover pieces of Luan to create sidewalls for the loop. These attach with hot glue, and it's important to make sure the seams between pieces didn't have a lip that could catch the marbles and stop them from making it all the way around. For the lead into the loop, I used a long piece of 3 quarter inch plywood and glued it to the beginning part of the loop. The piece is a bit longer than it needs to be, so I'd have the ability to trim it to the right length later. Then for stability, the side barrier also attached to the side of the loop. I added more hardboard to get the track surface to the same level as the loop. I cut pieces to be the same width as the plywood below it. I ran some tests at this current state. Because it was unfinished with the lumpy rolling surface, the marbles weren't rolling well. But a few tests showed that the marbles definitely had the ability to make it all the way around the loop. I had planned to be able to trim the drop to make it shorter, but it seemed like I needed the entire thing. So I finished adding side barriers on the other side. For the end of the loop, I brought the curve into a flat section of track.
I was kind of inspired by a Hot Wheels track as I built this because it resembled one. So after the flat portion, I built a small jump. Alright, made some good progress on this build. I ran some more tests and it was looking promising. In the next video, I'll finish this loop. This is going to be cool. Okay, that's it for now. See ya. Goofy. Coach, come here. Come here. Come here, Joe. Come here, Joe. Come here. Come here. Come here, Bubba. Come on, Coach. Come. Coach. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Doof.